So following from last week's presentation where I set out some of the, the principles of open source marketing, um, Rob and I met up at the weekend, um, spent a couple of hours shooting the breeze and chewing the cud, and just kicked, the, kicked this around a bit to see how it, how it might look. And I, I feel like I'm starting to get a good grip on what open source marketing could mean, how it could work. Fundamentally, does it have a business model? And um, not only do I think it has a great business model, potentially, but I'm now becoming convinced that this this should be my business because I think it, it delivers um, what I want to achieve. And also, I think there's a similar thing for for you guys, potentially as specialists. So without further ado, let me talk through it. It's just start off with some general points. This, this is the most important one, really, and I keep coming back to this, that in online marketing, marketing in general, nobody has all the answers, um, at least individually. It's too broad a world um, in order for anybody even to keep up with everything that's going on and certainly not to have mas mastery of every topic. So nobody, nobody knows what's best on an individual basis. That means that we have to use the power of everybody, right? And you can make something better by involving everybody than you can just by involving a few people. The, doesn't go for absolutely everything, but for large-scale, complex projects, that this this is what open source is doing. It's revolutionising the the production and delivery of large-scale projects. However, if if we do involve everybody, we still have to organise it. We have to put constraints on. We have to put a a a pattern or, or something around this, so that we achieve two things. It needs to be accessible to everyone and useful to everyone, you know, and so that it can continually improve. If we write something down, if we share it, if we invite the world to contribute, then what we should get is a situation where you can't backslide. It cannot become worse. It can only be improved. And that, of course, needs disciplines of its own, which we're going to learn as we go along. Overall, this, this is a, a goal that is inspiring for me. I want to start a revolution in marketing and I want to take on the Internet Marketing Private Members Club head on. I have got no fear of um, speaking out about what works for people, what doesn't work for people and how you should use your money. Um, it's interesting that I've, I've got some really positive feedback from people who are crawling out of the woodwork all over the place saying, do you know, I've had that feeling about internet marketing for years, and but no one's ever expressed it. But I think we are maybe in that, in that amazing point where there may be a tide that's ready to turn, a big wave that's just starting to swell. And if we, we can get on there, um, tap into people's frustration with paying a lot of money for piecemeal courses that promise massive returns and for some reason fail to deliver time and time again, leaving you out of pocket, leaving you frustrated, and then, no, it's, it's okay because now you need the new program that's $2,000 or $10,000 seminar, whatever it may be. And it's not just the internet marketing um, gurus and the snake oil people. But it's, it's, it's the, the general problem of how we educate ourselves as marketers, as web designers, as consultants, and how clients, the client sector, can reliably and confidently seek help and assistance, and the help and assistance that they need at the right price in a timely manner. So there's, there's a, a lot, I think, that needs to change. I, I, I want to break the... Um, the stronger hold of the agencies. I think the agency model is ready for an overhaul because that is built on this, this ivory tower idea that we have the knowledge and the expertise and you don't. And that is absolute bollocks. 
because I've been in agencies. I've hired, I've hired an agency about, I think it was the year 2000, when I was at FreeServe, we paid some, I don't know how much it cost. We hired a Soho agency called Clever Media to come and help us with our branding. And we spent a couple of days with these guys and, you know, all went out and got drunk in London and whatever. We probably paid 50, 100,000 pounds, something like that. I don't know. But these guys didn't know any better than we knew. They didn't. They didn't have the knowledge, but they had the image that they pretended that they knew more about branding than we did, but they didn't. So there's a lot of a lot of Goliaths there to, to take down, potentially. I am happy with the organizational structure of the um, the information. Right, this is like, like our, our kind of semantic structure or process. So I presented this last week. So we start with a core strategy, and that comprises the circuit interview, circuit questionnaire, circuit review, all of that. Um, that is really the thing, that's where my heart belongs uh, personally. We then go on to campaign design. Um, campaign design also brings with it the list of objectives, which I haven't covered here, but these are all the things you need to do step by step in order to create and build a watertight, thorough um, customer experience from end to end. Then we've got campaign delivery. Now, obviously, campaign design and delivery and the final step live operation, all of these can use a dizzying multitude of tools and platforms and channels and tactics and models and formats, right? Should I use a webinar? Should I use a follow-up sequence with a bunch of videos in it? Should I write a book, right? Um, should I run a competition? Should I be using Facebook social media? There's so many different things that we can use. And we, we mentioned some of those in the previous presentation. Um, now, what the one thing that we do know is that the sheer breadth of this means that it's impossible for any one person even to have a modicum of, of grip on all of this. So that's where we need everybody. We need everybody's expertise. And I would sum all of these things up. I've been trying to come up with a word, and I think techniques is about as close as we can get for all of these. Because some things are not just um, channels, right? So, you know, Facebook marketing, Facebook organic, Facebook pages, th that's a channel. AdWords pay per click search network is clearly a channel. But some of these other things, like. Um, You've got techniques such as, you know, the product launch or um, I've, I've got a huge list of them coming up. And then, you know, what is ebook? What is publishing an ebook? Is that a format? Is it a technique? Is, is it a tactic? What is it? Is it a platform? There's an awful lot of overlap in all of these things. And I, I, this is really the crux of, of where we are right now, which is how to organize all of these techniques and I'll show you why. So here's how I see the the open source marketing project structure. And so this is really the, the the core of this of the business model itself. So per technique, all right, so we're we're beyond the strategy phase. You've done your circuit, you've checked it out, you're happy, you've made any necessary changes, you've got a green light, we're ready to go into campaign design, roll it out, and then also for um, live operation after that. So for any of those, pick, pick your favorite technique, you know, pick your favorite channel or niche or, or, or whatever it is, because each of these will have a perspective of its own. Each of these will apply to other things, other techniques. Each of these things will apply to the objectives that we've got to do. And how does this work? How applicable is this for when somebody is at step one for, or step two for present, for laying landmines for competition, right? For example, um, which is one of the objectives. So 
basically, at the bottom line, we're going to need specialists who are not just well placed now to advise on particular techniques, right? You know, so for, you know, Brian is has got very strong interest in LinkedIn profiles. So, you know, personal branding via LinkedIn and maybe the large scale SEO, stuff like that. You know, Rob is clearly, you know, got particular interests in um, AdWords and in marketing automation, right? So we're already, and, and you know, I've got a passion for Facebook um, organic marketing, but I'm not really interested in Facebook pay-per-click, right? Each of us have already we've already got our preferences, our likes, dislikes, strengths, and weaknesses in these areas. So not only are we already well placed to start to specialize more, and I think it's unavoidable that we have to specialize. We have to specialize. The market is growing as it gets wider, it's new niches are popping out between where old niches used to be. Right, there's no avoiding it. Specialism is the way forward. The eighty twenty rule says that it makes perfect sense. The problem is, again, Brian's just just said that you know Tammy's available and certified on the Facebook pay per click side. So you know we have between us as a group we have quite a few of the bases covered. Now here's the thing, going back to the initial rule. Nobody can know it all. Only together can we even get close to knowing it all. And that's the important thing. For each technique, each technique is going to need an owner. Right, so here's my here's the picture that I'm that I'm starting to build. For each technique, say take AdWords or AdWords search network or AdWords display network, right? So techniques could actually have sub techniques within them. If each technique has a team that goes along with it, right? Each of the technique teams is run and led by a team leader. Okay, so you know, uh, you know, Marty would clearly be in charge of the Google Analytics stuff, right? And that that's where we could start on day one, literally. Marty's in charge of, of either Google Analytics or all al analytics, right? Rob is in charge of all paid traffic, right? Brian is in charge of all SEO, you know? Um, so that's, that's one way of, of looking at it. That's where we could start. But moving on from there, developing from there, wouldn't it be great if we could have in the AdWords team or the analytics team some junior consultants who are coming through, right? Personally trained, led, managed to a degree by their team leader, right? And these people can be anywhere in the world. So think of it along the lines of, I set up a, a course in web design. I set up the ultimate web design follow-up. We've had a working group. You know, I, I'm, I've basically migrated my way into being the strategy team leader and that's that's where I see myself that's where I'd like to stay okay so you, you may notice if you go on LinkedIn I've changed I've you know cancelled Ben Hunt Limited no longer working there I've now moved myself to founder of open source marketing so you can have a team leader with multiple team members team members can pay a membership to learn from the master in that technique, right? So, you know, you might have your weekly hangout with your team, you know, your team guys, they may pay $100 a month, okay? Pretty much as we have now, visualizing that the inner circle becomes the team leader posse, um, then you guys, or we as team leaders, pay a subscription to the project Right, that's our our way of supporting the project, because there's also more benefits I'm going to uh, come into. So team members contribute towards a team leader. Maybe 20% of that goes on to the project. We'll see. Team leaders subscribe to be part of this. You've got some responsibilities. 
and there's something important I've missed off here which I, I will remember to say. So, the open source marketing client, fa the, you know, the, the public face of it will comprise a lot of free training materials. Free information. And they're really, primarily, for the DIY market, but also for marketers and consultants and agencies and everyone else to, to use and to adopt for themselves. That could include expert interviews, particularly, I think, when we've got vendors involved. So if we're talking about running a magazine site, it would be inappropriate for us not to feature Thrive and their Performag theme. It would be equally inappropriate for us not to feature and not to give airtime to any other magazine specialist theme that came along. And by doing this, I'd like to encourage the marketplace to, to segment and to specialize, you know, because we've got far too many generic themes. Um, so I've also put peer reviewed on there because I think it would be great for us to come together and to share ideas. Um, and to, to make sure that everything that we do is, is aligned with the overall method of, of uh, open source marketing. Leading on from there, you could then have certification. So we can say, here is, for example, Rob has a course in AdWords. Right? If Rob were to include his AdWords course in the open source marketing canon, then people can come along and do Rob's course. They can do that for free. They can go off if, if, they're, if they're at the DIY level of the pyramid, they can go off and apply it in their own business for their clients and go on about their day. It's absolutely fine, no problem with that. However, they may choose to become certified. Why would they choose to become certified? Well, one benefit of it is that they could then become a team member in Rob's AdWords team for example, right? So we can have an analytics team. We can have teams for, for all of these things with junior people who take the free materials and then say, no, I wanna be more part of this. Why would you want to do that? Well, here's the other side of things. That the, if, if we're thinking about what everybody needs when they come to open source marketing, then not everybody is DIY. We know that. We know that from you know, what we've done with the, with the stack, right? Not everybody is in the DIY level. Some people will need help. Some people will need advice, will need some direction, will need a steer. Some people will need hands-on assistance. Rob, I've been through your AdWords stuff. Would you please spend an hour with me just to check over that I've set up this campaign correctly? Right, and these can be hourly uh, services. So you can literally say, you can go on there, you can say, "Here's Rob Drummond. Here's all his stuff. Rob's an absolute hero, and he is the the daddy of of the AdWords thing." Um, and wherever you go on this site, it'll be, "Do you need help?" You know. Now, for some people, they won't, and that's fine. And we're not saying that you need it because we're giving you the stuff. If you are DIY, you Take the stuff, use it, practice it. But some other people, which we know, will need help. And there, there may even be a done-for-you package at the top end as well. Yeah, Rob says, I will build your AdWords campaign for $3,000, or whatever it may be. So what I'm thinking is, it could we could, rather than using like the VC to plug in, which I've got on web design from scratch right now, which is $50 a month and doesn't work particularly, particularly well. Um, no, not least for the fact that it, it makes no mention of time zones. So I can say that I'm free at this particular time and then somebody in you know Pacific time can go on and say, well, yeah, I'll do 5 p.m. But it's not 5 p.m., it's 9 a.m. for them, okay? So the VC to thing doesn't work terribly well. However, basically for the price of that, I could have a virtual assistant in the Philippines taking processing all of the PayPal things. Whenever somebody pays, I say, right, I paid, I want an hour of Ben's time, I want an hour of, of Todd's time, I want an hour of Chris's time. Then, because all of our diaries are shared with this virtual assistant or virtual assistant company, 
they could actually manage all of that and and negotiate three times in our calendar and whatever. Um, so that's where some some good revenue comes in. So we've got money then coming in to the team members and the team leader. Obviously, the team leader is the you know in the hero position for that. If you want if you want double caffeinated consulting advice, then you go to the team leader. You don't go to the team members, but the team members can be featured on there as well. There may be somebody in your state, in your country, somebody who speaks your language. We could have teams of 20, 30 people in due course, all offering themselves through this service. And that's a really good reason for people to join the team. Obviously, when you're part of the team, particularly when you are the team leader, you are then responsible for maintaining this free information. But why wouldn't you want to do that? So in a sense, what this is like is, it's like me taking web design from scratch, pro web design course, ultimate web design, all of these different things that I've done, and each of us coming on board with our individual dispersed blogs and products and lists and everything and saying, let's bring all of this together in a way that will maximize our overall reach, create something quite irresistible for the marketplace and give us an enormously broad base um, to do really you know, two things, to, to be able to specialize in what we do best, right? Because I don't want to be installing WordPress, right? It's not my thing. Somebody can do that better than I can do it, cheaper than I can do it. I shouldn't be doing that. I should be doing what I do best. Each of us here, should be doing what we do best, right? Spending an hour, two hours at a time speaking to a client who needs exactly us because we've got that experience. So it actually liberates us as specialists um, to, to focus on our Superman time, to develop those special powers and to get compensated accordingly for that. And if, if, if you want to charge somebody $500 an hour because that's what your knowledge is worth, then you can go ahead and do that. Or you can do it for $50 or $100 an hour, you know. Um, so this, this is roughly the picture that we've got. Now, there's the thing that, that is not on this image, which is that we, are, we need to be responsible um, so we're now pulling back, pulling up the, the idea of the wizard again. Now, I do believe that there is a possibility that the open source marketing wizard could work. All right. So if, if anyone needs refreshing on that, the idea is you would go through the circuit online. You would fill in the questions in text where that needs filling in. You would click buttons wherever we can make stuff into radio buttons. You would hit a big button and it would then say, well, you don't seem strong in this area. We recommend you go back and do that. So it can do help you with your circuit review and doing all of this programmatically. It could then go on when you're ready to help you to, if, if not completely design your campaign, but help you to, to know what you can safely ignore. Well, you don't need a Facebook page, you're in B2B, right? That makes a lot of sense in, in the general case. But what we need is, we need a lot of logic to be put together in order to build that wizard. I started looking at this a few months ago, quickly realized how overwhelming it was. So I, I can't do it. And the reason I can't do it is because I'm not an expert in all of those techniques. I can't be. Nobody can. Only we can together. That's why we together need to build the wizard. Now, the wizard it could be a great open source software project in its own right. Um, but that's something that could really, really draw people in. You know, you're talking about companies doing their DIY thing or consultants, web designers, helping clients by coming along and working through the questionnaire stuff, the, the circuit questionnaire with them and getting the automated access 
to to this amazing intelligence if if we can build it now so it's going to fall to the team the technique teams right to develop and to devise and to con- continually to polish the logic for their particular thing and because we will have cases when there's there's a particular condition or question that that does affect whether a technique is right and appropriate in a particular project scenario and we need to make sure that the circuit questionnaire contains those appropriate questions right so there's going to be some some feedback some to to and fro and that will require a, a system of its own so yeah so what's missing off here is as a responsibility for the technique teams is maintaining the wizard logic. Now we can publish that logic, right? There's no there's no reason to not to publish it, but we can publish it in plain English as well. And by the way, we can also do this in Spanish and French and Chinese and everything else in due course if if people want to come on board and help with that. It would seem to make a lot of sense. But we can publish that logic we should be publishing our logic. When is AdWords Display Network the right thing for you? Under what circumstances should you not consider it? There are answers to those questions. But so far, nobody has aggregated all of those questions or all of that logic behind it. And that's what we're trying to do. And that's why open source marketing is such an ambitious project. So. We think that the wizard could um, be an extremely attractive product in its own right, particularly if, if we give it out for free. Um, but it, it should also be our ultimate goal. Because what the wizard says, look, even if the wizard never actually works, that we should make every effort to systemize, to record, to write down and share all of that logic anyway. So I think I've covered all the angles on that. Now what we end up with is a an enormous challenge. Right? I think I think the the basic business model would seem to work well. It could work with six of us or sixty of us or six hundred of us. It that's just comes down to organization. But the first steps in organization, the coming up with the um the, the structure, how we arrange these techniques is going to be really important. So I've taken some of the techniques from the what was known as the Big Ass Marketing Matrix before. Um, and you can see there are so many, there's a lot of overlaps. Right? Some of these things are channels, some of these things are media or formats. Some of them are techniques or approaches or tactics or ways of thinking. Right? Some of them are platforms and tools in their own right. So we're faced with a, a massive challenge. Right? I mean, right now it seems like quite a daunting challenge to, to think, well, how do we organize this simply in terms of information architecture on the open source marketing website? Right? If somebody, somebody says, right, I've done my, my, my circuit, I'm, I'm happy with that, I'm ready to proceed, and there's no wizard yet, right? That doesn't come for a year. What do we, what do we do, right? Did, do they, are they going to have to click through sixty or a hundred different techniques to see which ones are right for them? That could be quite daunting. So, or maybe there needs to be short che- checklists, right? Consider SEO if, consider Twitter ads if. Like if you, um, I mean, let's just, just flick through some of these content marketing. It's a very broad concept. YouTube. What is YouTube? Promoting your videos on YouTube. We've got video series later on, you know. Um, AdWords pay per click. Fairly straightforward. Facebook organic, Facebook pay per click, Twitter organic, Pinterest, Instagram. How does all that stuff all fit together? Display ads. Facebook groups, right? That's that's these things can apply in, in many situations. Right? So there's there's an awful lot here. But you know, maybe have a have a quick look at this and think, well, 
some of these I really know about. Right, some of them I don't. But then how do we categorize them? How do we enable anybody to navigate them? Or are we going to need the wizard you know, sooner than we thought? So, I mean, here are just some a few, a few ideas. Brand building could be an overall approach. Getting traffic or lead generation. Then conversion. We've not even mentioned copywriting, the most important skill of all, right? because that applies to most of these things. Then you've got CRM, customer relationship management. You've got uh, marketing automation. And then you've got live operation. You know, all the things that, that go into that to do with um, optimization and monitoring. And you know, agilely, if that's a word, changing your, your tactics on, on the fly. And you know the reason I've put all this up here is because, I, guys, I honestly don't have, I don't have an answer to this. I, I you know, barely have a handle on it. The one thing we we could start with is is where do you belong? You know, I'm I'm not the person to advise on e-commerce. So how do we put? What's what's the word for a um, kind of a logical hierarchy? Lost it for the time being. But you know, it's how you arrange libraries and, and all that kind of stuff. So that's, that's, that's our challenge. That, that's the next challenge before we can go ahead, um, build the site, and before I can do what I want to do, which is to recruit new members of our team, if necessary, to, to help own some of these, these areas. So we'll, we'll take that offline anyway and, and give it some thought. Um, the launch plan is fairly straightforward. Web design is dead is coming out. That that's really found itself a new ending, um, with open source marketing really being the the solution to all of our problems. Um, and of course, in addition to that, we're going to be you know, we, we really are stirring up the agency model as well. If we say, look, we've got an army of two hundred specialists on this site. Right. You need specialists, but here's the, here's the problem. Without strategy, you don't, need, you don't know which specialists you need. So sort your strategy out, which we can help with, if you don't want to do it yourself. If you want to do it yourself, great. With our blessing, go and do it yourself. But you know, if, if you aren't sure whether Facebook pay-per-click or AdWords pay-per-click or display advertising is right for you, guess what? We've got somebody who will... You know, for a hundred dollars, sit with you for an hour and help you figure that stuff out. If you want help writing an ebook, we've got people who can help write ebooks. We've got people who will build your Infusionsoft follow-up sequence. We've got people who will construct landing pages for you in click funnels or lead pages. We've got people who will research your your whole website uh, information architecture do all the keyword research and build you a plan for that. We've got all of these people, but you don't know what you need. And this, I think, is one of the major problems. This is one of the major problems that Web Design is Dead addresses directly. We don't know what we need as clients. But also, very often, consultants don't know what the client needs either. Because if you're a specialist in Facebook organic marketing and somebody comes along who is clearly you know, in, in perfect position for some conversion rate optimization or for some SEO because you, you know, we can't be specialists and generalists and we can't be specialists in everything. So nobody has the answers. Going looping back all the way to the beginning, nobody has the answers. Only together can we have the answers. And strategy is the key that unlocks everything else. You know exactly who you are, what you're selling, what it's solving, who you're selling it to and why. When you know that, then you ought to be able to find your appropriate path more easily. So what we want to do is we want to say, world, come and share this knowledge. If you need help, we are here to help. By the half hour, if necessary, by the day, whatever, whatever you need, you know. And wouldn't it be great to come down in the morning and to see that there's, you know, somebody 
in Australia wants an hour of your time. There's somebody else wants half an hour of your time. And all you, all you need to do, it's all sorted for you. All the payment is handled. And all you need to do is jump on Skype and say, how can I help you? You know, that for me is a bit of a kind of a dream. Um, we want to launch via partners. Could be, you know, could be interesting. Um, there's a lot of people I can reach out to. Um, and obviously also my email list, which is fairly modest. Um, any I other ideas, um, obviously, obviously welcome. Um, just got a, a note from Rob. Rob, do you want to just talk that through? Yeah, unmute and talk that through. Yeah, so um, I, I um, kind of suggested that we might want to revisit this. And um, I think that... Uh, I just think it's it's quite a good way of generating leads. I think the danger is that we'll kind of confuse ourselves because you know we, we are trying to solve a really complex thing of asking what should you do. Um, but I think we could probably map out some sort of minimal viable product in terms of building a uh, kind of a logic structure that asks the right questions about what you should be focusing on, and I think the outcome. The outcome of the wizard then isn't to say yes, you should go and do Facebook pay per click or something. It's, it's the, the output is these are things you might want to think about, or this is what we suggest you might want to go and look at, um, and maybe kind of you know give them a few different options then depending on on how much time they have, how much money they have. I, th I think that's interesting, um, Rob, because what we could then do is link them to specific videos to say. Okay, you're you're you know, you're in B2B, how appropriate could this technique be for you? So then they go to a video of Rob in fifteen minutes talking you through some concerns, mentioning a couple of case studies. If that doesn't clear it up for you, then you may then be inspired to say, Well, do you know what? Seventy five dollars, I'm gonna have half an hour of Rob's time. Get him on Skype. And that's where actually that could feed into a full circuit review where they then book a strategy session to actually go through the qualitative stuff in more depth. Yeah. Because um, that's, that's a big problem with this, isn't it? Is that it has to be all quantitative answers that we can, you know, select from radio buttons or whatever. Yeah, ex exactly right. And I think, you know, there's only so much you can do using quant. You know, they, there comes a point where you, you have to turn to a full powered meat driven neural network you know you need you need to get a brain in there there's only so much that we can do but i think for an, a minimum viable product for the wizard we may just be simply be able to um to put out a google spreadsheet they say take a copy of this fill in the numbers according to the circuit questionnaire and see what it says and it will highlight some things as this could be a goer and the other things it will say don't go there you're going to waste your money and your time so i think that could be an mvp then for the for the wizard but there's a lot certainly a, but you know each of us would be responsible for a column of that spreadsheet so hopefully it, it becomes less less of a daunting task yeah. So yeah, any other ideas for for promoting this? All welcome. But yeah, also any any questions or feedback that you guys have got, we can talk talk those through now. Ben, ben it's Brian. Um, do you have um, would uh, Doreen be able to uh, build the logic into that wizard? Yeah, I'm sh I'm sure she could. I think I think it makes sense to maybe to do it as a as some kind of spreadsheet to start with to get the early adopters mm -hmm. and innovators and geeks on board. Um, well, I, you know, I, 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 could, I could see Doreen maybe, you know, being the, you know, one thing we haven't mentioned on here at all is custom apps, Yeah. you know, or WordPress customization. That may be Doreen's particular area, yeah. I, I was just going through iPass exam for, it's a, a software that gets you ready for uh, writing the uh, Google AdWords uh, certification. But they also have um, a whole section in there for Adobe for getting certified on Adobe products, 
And one thing that I found that was helpful in their, um, in their um, library of, of questions was that as you were going through the questions, it was giving specific references to uh, the Google AdWords manuals or user manuals for those particular uh, areas. Um, that could be very helpful if that was all linked out to um, videos or brief explanations to help people guide them along the way. And then they could maybe self-test themselves on their understanding of how they've, you know, prepared the circuit review and maybe f done their first campaign. And, and then there could just be hooks in there to give support to them if they need uh, personal one-on-one -on -one consulting for each, each section that they run into a hurdle and they can't get past and they would have easy access to uh, to us uh, at those levels. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you know we'll, we'll all have doubts and questions around certification and assessment, but this could be done in a 30-minute conversation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it, there's no n nothing to say that our assessment process has to be standardised in any way. At, not now, not ever. You know, just do what works. Yeah. Could just be a 30 minute vetting process. You have a Skype conversation with them. Yeah. Um, you say you've been through my course, pay the $150 fee, right? I'm going to get on a hangout or Skype with you for an, for, for an hour. And I'm, I'm going to ask you to show me, talk me through two different AdWords campaigns that you've set up. Yeah. One that's fairly new, one that's been running for a while. And then, you know, after that, if, if there are things that you think are missing, you could then direct them to go and bone up on something else and then come back to you a week later, get on, you know, Skype again for 20 minutes and, and just check that they're, that they're on, on top of it. Or let them join the group and give them a development plan. But these are people who will be, you know, putting a little bit of money in your pocket every month for being part of this group. You meet with them once, so once once a week or whatever um, to help them with with their projects part of which will be client work which comes under you and 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 by the way any work that they get directly through this site some you know maybe 20 percent of that would go to the up to the project level or 10 percent 20 percent would go to the uh, te technique team leader as well so you, you you would actually and this is all done for you you would actually get a a proportion of of their fee which you know, pays for you to oversee them and to give them your support. 